What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Rays. Are you guys ready for more How to Train Your Dragon adventures? When should we expect the next installment? More importantly, is How to Train Your Dragon 4 happening? As one of the most popular and successful franchises nowadays, How to Train Your Dragon became one of DreamWorks Animation's most loved and awaited projects. But ever since fans saw what was said to be the last film of the franchise, they've been craving more of the story. From a beautiful group of well-developed characters to an amazing plot, with even more amazing plot twists, this is what makes fans crave a continuation of the very addictive story. The big question is, is there a chance for us to see a continuation? Well, the short answer would be no. But then again, we live in a world where continuations of different kinds happen all the time. There are sequels, prequels, threequels, spin-offs, reboots, remakes, and the list goes on and on. And since there are films that were granted a continuation even though no one asked for it, we can't help but hope to see one to a franchise that has taken the world by storm. A few years ago, Collider reported that the director, Dean DeBlois, had a discussion with DreamWorks CEO Jeffrey Katzenberg about making the fourth installment. I think I've talked Jeffrey Katzenberg down from that and then laughs. There may be spin-offs to come, but my involvement and my dedication to completing a story that has a reason for being and a strong sense of integrity and three chapters I think are in place and intact. Everybody seems to be in agreement that we're moving in the right direction said Dean DeBloy. Prior to the release of the third installment, the creator said that this will be the last film indeed. Another thing that confirms this is it is the fact that Dean DeBlois said, We thought about it for a long time and came up with what we think is a bittersweet way to say goodbye to these characters, but the right way. He clarified this at the Toronto International Film Festival 2018. The creator also said that all of our questions were answered in the third film, which according to most fans is not true. Although the third film doesn't end on a cliffhanger, there are still some uncertain storylines. How to Train Your Dragon the Hidden World ends the trilogy. But that doesn't mean that we won't see a spin-off. Just like the creator said, a spin-off would be a fun way to continue the story. Now, there are a lot of people who have no idea that this is actually a DreamWorks adaptation of the children's book of the same name written by Cressida Cowell. The first two films were a major success, with both of them breaking records at the box office. The third one lived up to the successes of its predecessors, which is one reason plus for the creators to at least least consider a continuation. Now, let's talk a bit about the last film and its open ending. The Hidden World takes our favorite characters on a brand new adventure. Hiccup and his dragon Toothless are back, with the events of the film taking place one year after the last installment. Hiccup is now the chief of Burke. But things get a bit complicated once the dragon population starts to grow and dragon hunter Grimmel is tasked with capturing Toothless, who is now the alpha. And then, Grimmel says he'll need you to smash that like button in order to free Toothless. Now seriously, we've already mentioned that the third installment has reached incredible success at the international box office. And if history has taught us anything, a film will be granted a continuation if fans want one, and if the last film is successful enough. However, the most important thing is that the third film leaves space for a continuation. The final film of the franchise was released in February 2019, and ever since fans have been asking Dean DeBlois and his team whether we'll see another installment, as previously said, he has made it clear in the past that the third film is the last one, with it giving a proper conclusion to the story. And we have to agree with this statement. It's 100% true that Hiccup and Toothless's stories are given a beautiful ending. An ending that satisfies a large group of fans. The ending of The Hidden World is certainly a happy one, even though some fans claim it's not. Near the end of the film, we're seeing all dragons leave the new Burke village to go live in the hidden world. But this is not the end. After this, we're seeing a time jump that sets the plot for the next film. This time jump that moves the film a few years into the future shows Hiccup and Astrid grow up, married, and with kids of their own. This is it. This is what we needed in order for the story to be given a continuation. But if another film happens, we won't see Hiccup 
Jacob and Astrid as the protagonists. We'll see their kids as the main characters instead, which would be fun, don't you guys agree? Now, let's say a fourth film happens. When should we expect to see it? Is there a potential release date? So, imagine that DreamWorks and Deloy agree to do a continuation. Let's say they come up with a story this year. But this still doesn't mean that we'll see the potential fourth installment anytime soon. Animated films are one of the most challenging projects in the film industry. There were four years between the first two Dragon movies and five between the second and the third. Our guess is that we will see the film sometime about two years from now at the earliest. Now, we've come to the most interesting part of our video, reasons we need a continuation and reasons we don't. When we said that this franchise is really, really successful, we weren't exaggerating. When the first movie of the trilogy was released, it was praised by both fans and critics alike. The second film was even more successful, and every single one went up for Oscar nominations for Best Animated Picture and several other categories. Fans loved everything about these movies, the storytelling, the animation, the plot twists, and of course, the message behind them. We previously said that the end of the trilogy is satisfying and well accepted among the audiences. However, a lot of fans claim that the conclusion to the story was heartbreaking as well. Hiccup leaving his friend Toothless is a storyline that will always bring tears to our eyes. But then again, this storyline was necessary and it simply had to occur. One of the most obvious reasons we need a continuation is the way the trilogy ends. As already said, the third movie leaves an open ending and countless possibilities for new adventures. The next film could open up with Hiccup's descendants and we'll be more than happy to see Hiccup as a grown-up, teaching his little one different lessons. The message is even better. The trilogy is, in fact, full of uplifting messages, of accepting who we are instead of living up to the expectations of other people. The films put an accent on understanding and empathy, and they teach that aggression is not the solution. While the target group was always the younger audiences, adults were the one who actually waited for the sequels the most. Another thing that makes this franchise so good is the humor utilized in the best way we could have imagined. Perhaps our favorite thing about the films is the attention to detail and the effort the creators have put into creating such a masterpiece. To make flight sequences in How to Train Your Dragon accurate, animation chief Simon Otto found a great way to prepare his team. They were all given advice from ornithologists about how wings work, and the animation team went through a kind of flight school. They were also told that you need to smash that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. No, seriously, these films are more than great. They are so great that an article by Polygon compared the score to that of Star Wars. See you in the next video. Hey, I am glad to see you too, much. He's not going to eat your father. <laughs>